Hey everyone! In this video, we're going to learn how to change a photo's background and also how to relight it to match the new background using the LBM relighting model developed by Jasper AI. Let's get started. First, we need to install two custom node packs in Comfy UI, Comfy UI RMBG and Comfy UI LBM. Both can be installed using the Comfy UI Manager. Let me show you. Open Comfy UI, then click on Manager and then Custom Nodes Manager. Next, search for Comfy UI RMBG. As you can see, I've already installed it. This custom node pack was developed by AI Lab, so make sure you're installing the correct one. For Comfy UI LBM, search for Comfy UI LBM and install it. I've already done that as well. This custom pack was also developed by AI Lab, so again, ensure you're using the same custom node pack. Let's close the Comfy UI Manager and move on to the next step, downloading the LBM relighting model. The link is in the description, so I'm going to open this link in my browser. Here we go. The file we need to download is model.safatensors. Use the download button to get it. I suggest renaming the file to lbm underscore relighting.safatensors because there are many models with the same name and it might confuse you later. So, don't forget to rename it. After the download finishes, let's see where we need to put the file inside Comfy UI. Open the downloads folder. Here you can see I've renamed it. Let's select and cut the file. Then open the Comfy UI portable folder and again open the Comfy UI folder. Look for the models folder and open it. Next, find the folder called Diffusion Models. Open that and then paste the file. After that, close the file explorer, then open Comfy UI. Refresh it by pressing R on the keyboard. First, let's add a node for importing the image that needs background replacement. In any empty area, double click with the left mouse button and search for Load Image RMBG. Click on it. After that, click on Choose File to Upload. Let's select this image. Then set the size to 1024. Then let's add a node for removing the background. Double click and search for Remove Background RMBG. Click on it. After that, connect the image output of Load Image RMBG to the image input of Remove Background RMBG. In this node, we can choose which model to use for removing the existing background. Well, I'm going to use the default one called RMBG 2.0. For now, I'm not going to change any other options on this node. Now, let's add a node for loading a background image. Double click in any empty area and search for Load Image RMBG. Click on it. Let's move this node here, then let's open an image for the background. Click on Choose File to Upload. Let's select this photo. Click Open. After the image loads, change the resize mode from longest side to shortest side. After that, change the size from 0 to 1024. Next, let's add a node to combine both images. Double click and search for Image Combiner RMBG. Click on it. Then connect the image output of Remove Background RMBG to the foreground input of Image Combiner. After that, connect the image output of the Load Image RMBG node, which has the background image, to the background input of Image Combiner. To preview the output of Image Combiner, let's add a Preview Image node. Click and drag from the image output of Image Combiner and select Preview Image. Finally, click the Run button to see the result. Here is the result. Let's open this image in a new tab. As you can see, we need to adjust the foreground's position. Let me show you how. Let's close this tab. In the Image Combiner node, we have two options for changing the foreground's position horizontally and vertically. Changing the position X value will move the foreground horizontally. If we change the position Y value, the image will move vertically. Before changing these values, let's enable Run on Change. Now we can start adjusting the position X and position Y values, and we'll see the result in the Preview Image node. Now let's open the image in a new tab. As you can see, it looks good, but the lighting isn't perfect. To correct the lighting, we're going to use LBM Relighting. Let's close this tab and disable Run on Change. Double-click and search for Relighting LBM. Here it is, click on it. After adding the node, connect the image output of Image Combiner to the image input of Relighting LBM. To improve the output quality, we'll increase the steps. Remember, increasing the steps will also increase the processing time. I'm going to use 30. Then add a Save Image node to Relighting LBM. That's it. Let's run the workflow. Click the Run button and wait for a while. Oops, I encountered an out-of-memory error here. To fix this problem, we can downscale our image before feeding it to the Relighting LBM node. In my case, I'm going to rerun the workflow. So let's click the Run button again and wait. And here is the result. Let's open this image in a new tab. As you can see, the LBM Relighting model did a good job. There are small imperfections, especially around the eyes. Overall, I'd say it looks fine. Another thing you need to know is that currently, the LBM Relighting model will not add any cast shadows to your images. 
If you want to add cast shadows, I recommend using in-painting models like Flux One Fill. Let me show you a demo of it. On top of Comfy UI, click Workflow, then click Browser Templates. Go to the Flux tab, scroll down, and look for Flux in Paint. Click on it. Let's close this message. In this workflow, I'm going to use the FP8 scaled version of the T5XXL model. I will also be using the highest Flux One Fill dev model. Let's import an image into the Load Image node. We'll choose this image. If I open this image in a new tab, you can see there are no cast shadows on the ground. So how can we add shadows to this image? First, right-click on the Load Image node and open the Mask Editor. Then, using the Brush tool, paint the areas where the shadow might appear. After drawing the mask, save it. Next, go to the Positive prompt and simply type Add Shadows to the Ground. After that, we can run this workflow to see the result. And here is the result. Let's open this image in a new tab. As you can see, the Flux One Fill model did a good job. So guys, that's it. Now all I have to say is, run more experiments with the LBM relighting model and also use Flux One Fill Dev for adding cast shadows. Let me know about your results in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you soon with another video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.